everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're due for a random run. This is a random integer from 1 to 10. 5. Blue Baby again, man. You are testing my patience when it comes to character variety randomness. I think that's Blue Baby. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Blue Baby. Frame rate seems kind of bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I didn't want to double check just to like make sure, but I wanted to make sure that the, the frame rate was actually working properly. So we're on the cellar. Here's our seed as blue baby, QY9Q, VF8Y. This is an important run. Why is this an important run? It's run 80, man. That's a big deal. I never would have expected that it was even possible. And yet we find ourselves in this situation. And, you know, blue baby is a character who, for whom, I should say, there are some interesting possible uh, consequences and difficulties. However, at the same time, you start with not an insignificant amount of HP. No way to replenish it, but on the bright side, you're not like completely screwed when it comes to actually, like if you get hit once you're fucked. And we do have a tinted rock over here, so we're, uh, I wanted to shoot that poop first, just in case petrified poop showed up, but um, maybe petrified poop can show up from the poop spacebar item as well, I'm actually not sure. Um, but either way, we're one uh, bomb away from probably being able to pick up some extra spirit hearts, and if we pick up some extra spirit hearts, so even one, that means that we can pretty much take whatever deal with the devil is, is nice enough to show up. Wanted to take out this guy, but not the poop in the center. Not the poop in the center. Good, we left the poop in the center. It's important. So many uh, opportunities on this floor. If we get one bomb to just chain it into being able to blow up multiple rocks and maybe have a good chance to get a crawl space or something like that. Or a battery, although that's a little bit less relevant, I imagine, considering our item is the, you know, the poop. Ah, that was very poor damage. He faked me out a little bit. I, I dodged earlier than I should have dodged. That's all right. Two and a half spirit hearts is not a scary position. Not yet, anyway. And there's one bomb. So how do we do this? Well, I think we put down this here. We try to get every single advantage that we possibly can. Put it down here. Maybe we'll get some money out of it. Or some spiders. That's also acceptable. We put it down here. Maybe we find the secret room out of it. We don't, but we got six cents. So that, all of a sudden, with one key, allows us to buy a spirit heart. This is why I think it's pretty important to go through all of the, the steps here. Now, admittedly, we could blow up the, um... Yeah, one spirit heart is fine. Maybe not ideal, but uh, we could have blown up this instead and gotten the key and the chest, and the chest might have provided us with uh, a bomb that we could use to continue our kind of track here. But, oh, baby, I love your way. I want us to get the streak to a day. You know, I, I, I can't hit that note. That's a, that's a low F. It's out of my range. Death's Touch, obviously a huge damage upgrade, piercing shots. Um, it's it's incredible. There's nothing more that I can really offer here. Hopefully we get a good DPS or like Blue Baby specifically HP upgrade here, which is like Squeezy. Squeezy's better for us than just getting like a, you know, breakfast or something like that as Blue Baby. But this is looking amazing. We've been, yeah, that's fine. We've been pretty much carried already. Maybe we should have used the poop outside of this room to have a better chance to get a payout. I honestly don't know. All right. So we have a, an arcade that we're honestly probably not going to be able to do much with. We have no consumables at all, actually, uh, except for money, which admittedly is a consumable, so I misrepresented it a little bit there. But I, it's hard for me to be sad about this because we have four and a half spirit hearts, and uh, the item that we got on the last floor was Death's Touch, which, as far as item room items go, is actually, like, maybe number two. Well, it depends. This actually is better, weirdly enough, unless we get petrified poop. Um, like, uh, Mom's Knife you can get from an item room, that's probably better. Maybe a little bit less fun, you could conceivably argue, but better, maybe. Um, I don't think you can get Nine Lives, but you can get Dark Bum. You could probably make a case about, about Dark Bum being better. I don't want to be that guy, though. I'm just very happy with what we got. I don't always have to be looking at, you know, what we could have gotten instead. I am hoping, though, that maybe we can pick up just a little bit more HP. My reasoning behind this is that, uh, slightly nervous about there being maybe two deals with the devil that we want to take and only being able to choose one, but it's probably going to be okay. That's pretty much acceptable. I asked for it. I received. I didn't kill those spiders, so I guess I get another chance at this room for... Reasons unbeknownst. Well, reasons very beknownst, actually. No consumable drop, but that's okay. All right, pin. Uh, we got a nice little uh, assortment of items to use against pin. Shoop the Whoop is actually at its most valuable against enemies like this. 
One more hit will finish the job. We get a damage upgrade, which I think is preferable to HP as Blue Baby, as long as our HP is fine. And yeah, we'll get also two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. This is starting out pretty good. If we take, I'm not gonna sweat it, basically. I'm gonna just take nine lives. And then that will allow me to take this as well. And Guppy said is better than Shoop to Whoop. Good, so we still have eight HP. No, uh, no survivability. But hopefully we can get into our shop and pick up a Spirit Heart and make that happen. We could have done it the other way and maybe we wouldn't have lost a life, but I honestly don't know if that's true. Could be our secret room. At the, well, okay, that's fine too. At this point, I would really, really like to be able to buy a, a Spirit Heart from our shop. Just to have like one life that I can actually rely on a little bit. Pill, we'll try. Balls of Steel, that's exactly what I was looking for. Couldn't have asked for anything uh, better myself. This is going to be our last room here. Uh, we don't have enough keys to go to our... Uh, crawl space, maybe? No, nope, we don't have enough keys to go to our, uh, ru our mob trap room and fight for it. That's not our secret room? Where the heck is our secret room going to be, then? This is what I wanted to check out in here. Let's blow this up first. I get... Oh, Lovely. I guess I'm not going to care about our secret room too much because I just blew it up. But we might get consumables back here. If we get a bomb, though, I'll probably blow up one of these guys to try to get this judgment to pay out. Even an HP upgrade is pretty valuable at this point. Come on, ah, you dick. Well, you know what? Actually, now with one key, why don't we open up one of these and see what we get? That's uh, a key, a bomb, and a, and a lot of money, actually. I'm not so worried about buying a spirit art from our shop. I'd rather see where this uh, this judgment pans out and maybe it gives us more consumables in the meantime but mostly uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna use my my other key for this uh, this other golden chest just to see what we get here I think that worked out fantastically <laughs> we have we've really improved ourselves there and I'm thinking that you got a chance to pay out hey luck foot that's like pretty much what we would have wanted there okay so our secret room weirdly enough looks like it's adjacent to our second secret room that's a little strange, but let's see what we got going on in here. Two kinds of candles. I'm tempted, but Guppy's paw, sorry, Guppy's collar is good enough. We'll just buy the spirit heart, and uh, this might be our secret room. It was not. Okay. Well, maybe a secret room would have been here or on the other side of that kind of, you know, cross intersection up there. Either way, this is good. Uh, HP's looking, looking totally solid. We got our spirit heart in here already. Let's get out of dodge. Yeah, we got two Guppy items, Death's Touch, lots of HP, uh, a luck upgrade. This is a pretty good spot. We will go to that curse room right away. Uh, yeah, we have a bomb, so we can justify it. And our flies are actually doing a, a considerable amount of damage here. Always a glorious position to be in. You've, you're all one hit away from death. Like, don't try to fake me out there. This guy's like the perfect fight for us, and you are not dead. It's one of those situations where when you get death's touch early, I, I feel like I'm always like, why am I not? Why are these enemies not instantly dead? Are we guppy already? We're, we're Guppy already. That's win 80, as far as I'm concerned. Death's Touch Guppy on Caves 1. That's Northern Lion Luck. Um, it's gonna make people a little furious, I imagine, but at the same time, uh, you know, here we are. All I can really do is, uh, you know, the, the limits of my luck are, are within the game, man, so... Don't be too mad at me for that. I've just managed to get a little uh, luck on my side here. As I always say, you know, Tiger Woods said you make your own luck and that's a guy who knew a thing or two about getting lucky. Not that I'm glorifying adultery or anything like that, and not that I'm necessarily condemning uh, extramarital affairs. If if both parties necessarily know what's up, I'm not trying to make anybody feel self-conscious about their lifestyle. I'm just cracking a joke about Tiger Woods. Remember that guy? He was on top of the world. Probably still, like, he's probably doing pretty well now that I think about it. He still golf? Or has he moved into... Is he like the number one streamer on Hitbox now? Okay. Fat Odd Mushroom, absolutely. It gives us a full spirit heart because we're Blue Baby. Not a an empty red heart container. And then, of course, it gives us the damage upgrade alongside of it. So we're in a really, really good situation here. I mean, what can I possibly say? You, do you want me to try to act up some fake tension on this run? There's no fake tension to be acted up. This is a win and a half here super early. I think we've got a genuine chance at boss rush. We were a little slow coming through the first couple of floors, I think, but we're pretty much right on pace now, and it only stands to get better as time goes on as a result of the uh, staggering value that we've received so far. So many pheromones pills. Is someone going to tell 
Ed and Tyrone that pheromones pills, nobody likes them. Maybe not nobody likes them, but I'm always, whenever I get a pheromones pill, I'm like, couldn't you have just given me something bad? It makes me want to be the dick I want to see in the world. I was on a flight once, um, and the guy in front of me, I've told this story a couple times before, you might have heard it. But I was flying Allegiant, which is like a, it's, if you're European, it's like one of the Ryan Airs of, uh, of North America. It's a super budget airline, tickets are super cheap, but they offer like no amenities. Which is, you know, fine if that's what you're into. But seriously, like, picking your seat costs money. Like, taking a carry-on bag over a certain size costs money. Checking a bag costs money. Like, they, they've got a nickel and dime you because it's super cheap to just get on the airplane. And if you don't buy anything, then you're you're basically making money. Well, not making, you know what I mean, though. You're, you're paying less than you quote-unquote probably should. Um, but anyway, they, they were doing the in-flight drink service. And the guy in front of me was like a 50-year-old man. And he's like, I, I related to him, but I was also like, man, what a dick. He's like, do you have any coffee? And she's like, well, we, we don't actually serve hot beverages on our airplanes because they were made in the 1800s, but we have uh, iced coffee. And he just looked at her like dead in the face and said, why didn't you just say no? And I was like, that is, that's kind of how I feel right now about the pheromones pill. It's like, why couldn't you have just given me like a bad trip? Then at least I could get something useful out of it in the future. Instead, you, you bullshitted me. You buttered me up with this bullshit pill. And I can't do anything with the pheromones. Ooh, it's pheromones. It makes one room 10% easier. We should all be so lucky. I don't really want to buy anything here. What are we on? We're on Catacombs 2. We're way ahead of the boss rush curve. Uh, I would love to get... Just, I, I would love to donate to our donation machine here. I think we have been very nice to our game. If you'll allow me to pause, this is how professional I am. I just saw a text come in from my wife. She's out of the house, and it said, Would you like an iced coffee? And the depths of my addiction are so huge that I paused my work, and I said, I would love un-iced coffee. And then I'm going to put an emoji of a coffee uh, on there, because that's, uh, that's how you communicate with someone you love. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in this room. Three room. Rerolls the consumables on the ground. And maybe all the consumables on the ground? Like, throughout the entire level? Either way, I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out. Cricket's head. It could have been Bob's brain, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Crack the sky is terrible. Holy white death. Is that the best description for the worst item in the game? Not that it's the worst item in the game. I just think it's maybe the worst item with an awesome description. I am... I am death right now, destroyer of worlds. We've been to our shop, we've been to our item room. Uh, let's just go finish off our boss. And I, I'm thinking that this is going to be a pretty quick one. And it's just like I said in that last run where, unfortunately, the last random run, sorry, where we didn't get a win technically because of the fact that I'm an idiot. Thank you for pentagram. I'm an idiot and went in the wrong direction trying to be clever. Um, what is this, Gubby's hairball? Pandora's box. Ooh. Let's take it. We're already generating enough flies um, that we can use this on the cathedral and have some fun with it. But uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, it's awesome when you're on a random run and you know that it's a win. Happens fairly frequently. But it's almost worth a little bit more than a win because you know that, uh, you know, you got that Isaac run coming up next where things are relatively easier than they are on other runs. It's a two room rerolls all consumables on the ground. Again, hanged man. Pretty much worthless for us, and yet another pheromones pill. This is Depths 1, Necropolis 1. It's all the same to me right now. I can't believe also, like, it, it's almost like I feel like if I was being genuine on this run, it would just be an endless parade of thank yous, but I can't believe that we continued to get, like, the best absolute items for us as Blue Baby. I'm going to donate as much money as possible before I buy something. We don't need either of those items. It would be very nice to have them, but I think it's more important that when we're so far ahead of the curve, we donate to our donation machine and make sure that it knows that, you know, one, you're like a dream come true, two, just want to be with you, three. I'm holding up the fingers in case you thought that I was doing this half-ass Brian McKnight impression. Donation machine, it's plain to see. You're the only donation machine for me in full. Repeat steps one through three. Don't accuse me of being lazy. 
I, there's there's a great I didn't want to go for it because my singing voice is so bad but there's a lyric that you can get there like and and I should only find my streak is done when the donation machines back at one like it's too many syllables but you can understand you know my heart was in the right place we, we didn't buy any items there if we could buy a map or compass I actually weirdly enough I'm starting to come around to the idea that the map is actually easier to find the boss room with than the compass is. I would love to have both, if possible, and it actually looks increasingly likely like that's going to happen. We're only 11 cents away from it right now. Um, but... That, uh... Like, the map, you just basically look for a kind of telltale situation that's as far away as possible. A telltale pattern, I guess I should say. Uh, whereas on the compass, it's like, well, it's over there, but there could be 12 different ways to get there, you know? We are about three minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush right now, which means that we will be doing it, uh, barring some kind of incredible... That's our map and compass right there. Barring some kind of incredible catastrophe, we will be doing it. That's fine. Our speed is still pretty good. Um, yeah, we don't want anything to do with this. Uh, yeah, we want them both. And we will... Again, unless we end up getting like a run reroll or we do some kind of like weird library D6 shenanigans, which seem very unlikely given our spacebar item right now, Boss Rush should be in the cards for us and we should be able to beat it super quickly. Now, what would be my ideal boss, or sorry, shop item right now? There's no question. Hive Mind. Hive Mind would, uh, it would just be absurd. Our flies are already doing an insane amount of damage because of, you know, Pentagram. Particularly Death's Touch, of course, if we can get Magic Mushroom here. We got Cricket's Head as well. Um, are those speed downgrades, or is this a different pill altogether? Maybe this is Balls of Steel? No, speed down. 48 hour energy is like pr pretty much meaningless. Uh, Liberty Cap, not particularly strong. Well, that kind of sucks. Liberty Cap is not particularly strong uh, as a result of us already having Map Plus Compass, but there is a benefit to be had there in the, in the Mushroom effects for sure, but yeah, this is. Hive Mind's time to shine if it shows up. If we get Hive Mind, like, the 100% chance to win becomes 110%. Don't tell me that doesn't exist. People try to argue 110% of something is not possible. It's very possible. That's what my fifth grade teacher said, at least. Now, we do have an interesting situation. What do we want to do here? I am going to be a little surprising, I think, and take nothing. Because we don't need anything to win. And the only direction to go is down. Like, our run can get stronger, but the only way, like, it, it's a win. <laughs> the run is a win. So all I can do by taking items that cost me HP is turn it into a loss. Can we sleep here for, like, extra HP? Does it give me extra HP uh, when we're blue baby, even if we're close to full HP? Yeah, it does. Was it worth two bombs? No, probably not in our current state, but that's, that's totally fine as well. Um, yeah. That's not me saying that, like, if, uh, if the mark or the pack shows up, I wouldn't take them. However, if there's any uncertainty, it's like, why risk it? Uh, Gimpy in particular. I was really interested in taking Sacrificial Dagger, but decided not to. But Gimpy, there's just no way. Like, I'd rather have the Spirit Hearts than have the chance to get more in the future your way. But, if we get Dark Bomb, that'll, that value proposition will be reversed. I would pick up Dark Bomb in a heartbeat. It's just a... Much more guaranteed payout, or much more likely, because it isn't guaranteed. But anyway, what do you got? Red chest? Nope. Okay, no red chest, no deal. We are saving Pandora's box for the cathedral. I'm hoping for some Easter eggs in Afterbirth. This is not one specifically that I expect to see, but I think it would be cool if, like, if you use Pandora's box in, like, a boss trap room, it gave you, like, four deal with the devil items or something. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but you gotta admit, it'd be pretty fun. You can't deny that. It's a fringe thing that most people would probably only use very, very rarely, but at the same time, I think it'd be cool. Like, you'd have to, you're making a sacrifice for it, obviously. You have to go fast and have Pandora's box and not use it when you had a chance to use it earlier, and, you know, there's all sorts of things going on there. It would probably turn, like, the runs where you had it into wins, but maybe, okay, maybe two deal with the devil items. My reasoning is that on the cathedral, you get one deal with the angel item. It's got to be better than that, because the odds are way less that you actually manage to make it to the boss rush, but anyway. Where the heck am I going to use pheromones? I honestly have no idea where I'm going to use this pheromones card. 
ill, whatever. Um, we'll take Pand or we'll take the Polaroid. I don't want to fuck up my darkroom chances again. And honestly, I think Sad Onion is like exactly what we want here. Sorry about that, Gertie. You just got caught up in the crossfire there. Like a 90s kid in a leather jacket. Whatever happened? That's what I'm waiting for BuzzFeed to report on. Whatever happened to the kid in the leather jacket who got spun the fuck into oblivion on the crossfire commercial? Only 90s kids know what I'm talking about. As a real, genuine, legitimate... No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um... You could just pass away, that would be easy for me. And you know what, I'm interested to see what our uh, what our second item is here. I always am on boss rush, because the, the boss rush really has the potential for the highest highs and the lowest lows. If you're like, I didn't have to fight everything, but I did, and I got Polyphemus, then that's like a story of, you know, righteous uh, reward, right? If you're like, I didn't have to fight everything, but I did, and then I got, you know, Mr. Mega, then you're like, ah, oh, that's not really like the best payout. Even Mr. Mega is not as bad as it can get, but you get the idea. Now we could if we wanted to, oh yeah, very stupid. We could if we wanted to use Pandora's box on the womb, and it is not a bad call. It's like the, statistically probably the best call. It's probably better using it there than using it on the cathedral. However, um, the cathedral has more of a potential for hilarious upside. Like if we got Godhead on this run, and I, I believe that it's just as likely as getting any other item as a result of the fact that our luck on this run has been so ridiculous so far. Um, if we could get that, this this run could go down in history as opposed to just being like a pretty decent, awesome, very fast run. I mean, we're only at 18 minutes. We're going to be out of boss rush. This does not happen very often, but we're going to be out of boss rush before um, we could have disqualified ourselves for getting into boss rush. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to get out of boss rush before 20 minutes is a, the easier way to explain what the hell I was trying to say there. We did take a little bit of damage on here. That's okay. I don't fucking believe it. <laughs> Come on! You gave me the exact half shitty item that I suggested you would give me? Is this punishment for that Brian McKnight singing earlier? You can't even be mad when that happens. I'd actually rather have that than have like a good item show up just because of the ridiculousness of it. Oh, that'll feed into the conspiracy theory something fierce now. Okay. What do we got here? The sun. You're like a dream come true. The sun might even be better just in its Necronomicon effect than, uh... Than, uh, the pheromones. But at this point, I'm holding on to pheromones, because it's like that... It's like, uh... Ed from Shaun of the Dead. He's like, you know, he's kind of... His life is probably not where he wants it to be. But at the same time, he's an old friend. I gotta, you know, stick around with him. Nobody gonna love with you better, I must stick with you forever. As the Pussycat Dolls said in one of their magnum opuses. They have several. Well, obviously we can't do anything with that, so we will head down to the next floor. This is looking like a... Well, a, on camera, it's like a 23 minute run right now. Less than 20 so far on screen. Um, it's looking like a 25 minute run. Like, at worst. Oh, I, I went to pick up pheromones. I was like, I don't know what this is, even though it's the same color, shape, consistency, and, uh, you know, chemical formula as my existing pill. It could be anything. Still keep opening these? You never know. I mean, we're saving a lot of time just by knowing exactly where to go, so... I'm, uh... I'm not too hesitant to open up, uh... everything that we can get a, a chance to open up here. This is bad? No, Lemon Party's okay. At least pop it there and speed things up a little bit. You get a two of hearts card, which is completely worthless. For us, for us, completely worthless. You are just regular stone chests, so I'm not interested. And we will, uh, we will go to our curse room because we can afford to. Rules card. You guys know Chub dislikes smoke? I'd almost temporarily forgotten that for a moment there. If you're holding on to hope that I'm going to use this pheromones pill at any point, I hope you um, confront realism or confront reality at some point in the near future. I'm not touching this pill. It is, as far as I'm concerned, it's untouchable. Let's get out of here. Uh, this is the pill that is going to be by my side when I finish the game. I'm not going to use it against Blue Baby. I'm going to carry it with me into the next run. I'm going to carry it with me into New Game Plus. There's no doubt in my mind. Alright, you are all dead. This is just the... It's the easiest run we've had in a long time. And it's almost a little bit foreign to me to have a run that is so without strife. But... Of course, I do appreciate it. I'm, I'm very happy about the situation. 
and we'll, we'll go to our Isaac run next, which I hope is similarly kind of easy, honestly. Once we get into, you know, we got 20 runs to go to hit 100. My heart, just saying that makes my heart go a little, you know, a little flutter, if you will. It's getting into the, the zone, you know. I've won like 28 runs in a row since I've been back or something like that. We don't have, oh, the relic's pretty good. I don't have to do that again in order to, to get the streak to 100. All we have to do is do like, well, not half, but you know what I mean. Two-thirds of that. 60% of that, and then we'll get to that mythical number. And if, if we get to 100, I haven't really allowed myself to think about what happens in that amazing situation. But if we get to 100, I think we just keep going, you know? We try to see how high we can get it. This is not me saying that I'm, I'm putting my sights on Cobalt's 205 streak. Which, in particular, was not even a valid comparison because his was all Eden. Which, if I'm being honest, I think is harder. Um, the, the Isaac runs do not give you a chance to die in the early game, which is probably when you're at your most fledgling and vulnerable. So, I, I'm definitely extremely impressed by the 205 streak. And if we hit 205, our streak is... If, if it's more impressive than Cobalt's, it's only because I've had a history of being a worse player. He's, he's still got the mantle, no doubt, with that streak. Uh, and there may be people that I'm not familiar with that have even larger streaks than that, and I uh, apologize for not giving you your uh, your due attention. However, I think that that does make for a next reasonable milestone. It'll be hilarious if we hit 100 to then be like, okay, our next major milestone is, like, quite literally more than double that. <laughs> but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, because we are not... We're still 20 runs, or, uh, runs away here, so... Let's not get too, uh... Let's not count it yet, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Decent items. Uh, very, very casual finish here. It's gonna be an under half hour long episode, which is... Uh, well... It's either a death on the womb, or it's a, a very fast victory. Yeah, absolutely. With no spacebar item, we will use Forget Me now. Did we get Black Candle, or did we just get super lucky to not get any shit curses? Obviously, like, as I was saying that, my question got answered, but... Uh, it's fine. Uh, Book of Shadows, yeah, it's absolutely acceptable. Book of Shadows is really good. It's not like we need it, but I appreciate it, and it did uh, make our uh, our Forget Me Now certainly worth using. I'm gonna use it here. Uh, I don't expect necessarily to take damage, but we might as well just not have the opportunity to take damage. Oh, man, there's something about... Like, we haven't had a run that's been this dominant top to bottom. Like, as soon as we walked into that first item room, this was basically over. We haven't had a run this dominant in a little while. Which is not me complaining, because obviously the track record probably speaks for itself recently. But, um... I'm happy to be in this situation. It's, it's refreshing to not have to worry uh, for any con considerable length of time. Got pretty lucky with the way the uh, the rooms intersected with one another here to give me a very easy chance to just uh, take a semi shortcut to our boss fight here. Don't need that, but I do appreciate the relic's existence. Yeah, there's there's nothing really to say at this point. This is run 80. Thanks to everyone who's shown your support so far over this run, or over the streak, I should say. Uh, we're we're closing in on the home stretch of 60. Or sorry. <laughs> The home stretch of 100, I don't know, 60 was, I guess, the last uh, multiple of 20 that I was, like, really concerned about. But anyway, my brain works in mysterious ways, even to myself sometimes. Old Zub Sport, hello, I am to Penguin of Doom. No, I'm not going to do it. But anyway, um, we're closing in on 100. That's incredible. Pheromones, thank you for being a friend on this run. You've been uh, incredibly valuable to me. Uh, it's, it's a tale of redemption, because I think the game gave me so many pheromones pills to be like, well, these are useless. You know what? They weren't useless. They provided me with great moral support, and I find that I play better uh, by a factor of 3.1% uh, when there's an orange thing in the bottom right corner of my peripheral vision, so thank you for that. That's 80 wins, or at least it should be. There it is right there. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.